All right, you know this room by now. This is where I film most of my, my stuff. I just walked into the gym. So I woke up at six today. Get ready, you can see my hair isn't really made and I don't freaking care how my hair looks because there are more important things, especially this one we're gonna be talking about today. All right guys, listen up. This tip, which I'm gonna give you right now, as a personal trainer, will probably make you the most money if you haven't been doing this already. And it is called the follow-up and responsiveness. I know you're like, oh my girl, it's not a secret. Well, listen up and understand what I'm gonna be trying to tell you. So here's the thing. You spend all this money and all this effort to get your website right, and you might have ads out there, you might have people starting to contact you through word of mouth, or the person at the reception said, go to this personal trainer. Behind my old gym, what happened is, a lot of times, people would get a ping or a message from a client or from a potential new person, and they would just sit around. And then three days later, they haven't followed up because, well, they were too busy on Facebook or something like that. I don't freaking know why. Here's the thing. Responsiveness, this day and age, is so freaking important that that will make it or break it in terms of getting that one client. So here's the thing. If I'm in a session and I get a ping, you know, the first thing I do once my session is over, I'm gonna email that person, I'm gonna call that person straight away because they're in the frame of mind of wanting personal training. So they're reaching out to me saying they have a question about it. So I need to be there as quick as possible. This is also the follow-up. So once you've got that person on the hook, you, you had them on the call and you discuss things, then you follow up with an email saying, well, thank you for your chat. This is what we discussed. When are we gonna start? When are we gonna meet? Make sure you do that in the very first follow-up call as well. So the follow-up call is structured this way. You say, hello, miss, whatever your name is. I've got this email from you and blah, blah, blah. You know, you talk about their points of what they want and they say, tell me more about that, blah, blah, blah. blah. So they start talking and then you try to extract some more information from them. They say, okay, so what would be the best time for you to come to see me for an initial consultation? And they're like, well, you know, I've got Monday and Wednesday. And you say, oh, men's Wednesday works. I'll see you Wednesday at that time, bang, and there you go. So it's, it's, not, it's not rocket science, but the thing is a lot of people are not doing it. They're not really doing this follow-up and especially not the responsiveness. In terms of my website, you can see I've got this chat function on there. Just this little tip, this chat function can change everything in your business if your website is found. It's not just, you know, putting a chat function on there and then, oh yeah, I've got, you know, I've got all these clients running in my, into my house. But if you have, a let's say, a couple of unique thousand visitors a month adding the chat function when I added it it had between 20 to 30 percent increase in inquiries coming in because people are freaking lazy and just think about your way of communicating with a service website let's say the big companies if I go to my service provider and talk about domains the first thing I look for is the private chat because I don't want to call them I want to first type because I'm on the PC anyway so I start, I start typing my questions it's the same thing as a personal trainer as a physiotherapist, as whatever kind of self-employed model, even if you've got a nail studio or a hair appointment studio, it doesn't matter. This, what I'm talking about, applies to you especially as well. So this is a transferable skill. This business mind or business thinking of how to run this is, is transferable. And responsiveness and follow-up is so important that I, I can't stress it enough because you guys are desperate in terms of making money or wanting to, to hit the fitness industry and establish yourself as a personal trainer, then you need to master responsiveness and follow-up. That's my tip for today. I'll see you tomorrow.